Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal. And this decal set includes three decal sheets with a combination of foil and vinyl backing. Now this Toy Hacks review is going to be a little different because there are no decals for Beast Mode. Everything is going to be used for Robot Mode. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Optimus Primal's Robot Mode, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now in robot mode, Optimus Primal looks great. Lots of nice paint details. Taking a closer look at the face, you've got red eyes, the white mouth plate, silver right there for the crest and the antennas. Down here on the chest, there's some small red details right around the center circle and what looks like blue-gray glitter finish right there on the chest. He's got red stripes along with some white paint there on the biceps. Down here on the waist, the whole crotch area is silver with some blue right there. Moving on down to the legs, the upper thigh is white, the knees red, blue feet, and red pistons. Now, of course, on the back of Primal, there's no real paint applications whatsoever, but lots and lots of great molded-in fur. And, of course, you've got his blasters or his shoulder cannons right there. Now, I am going to go ahead and pop the wrist mounted guns because I do believe there are decals for these guns right here. So let me go ahead and get the one out here on the left wrist. So there you go. They're all blue and of course both wrist blasters are the same. And let's see, set Primal back down. He does have his swords. We'll take a quick look at these as well because I know there are decals that go on these swords. These are greatly sculpted. I love the looks of these, the nice markings there on the blade and the handles. And like I said, both of them are exactly the same. So let's get these in position here. Go ahead and get Primal straightened up so you can have one final look at Optimus Primal before and after. Optimus Primal gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode. The first ones you're probably noticing are these new blue decals right here on the chest. They're a nice shiny foil that really catch the light nice. He also gets a blue decal right there in the center with a Maximal logo on there. Now you do have a few options for the chest. You also have red and black. There is a Maximal, or excuse me, a Maximal black logo right there. And you also have non-logo circle decals, blue, yellow, red, and silver. I, of course, went with blue. I was torn between blue or red, so I looked up an image of Optimus Primal from the old cartoon show. His chest was blue, so that's what I went with. If I happen to luck out and get that new Nemesis Optimus Primal, I'm going to use the red decals for him. Now, moving on and taking a look at the head, Optimus Prime also gets, excuse me, Optimus Primal also gets a new decal right there on the crest. You also have options for that as well with a red one. There are new blue decals here along the side of the crest and down here along the sides of the helmet just in front of the antenna. On the shoulder mounted cannons there's a new red decal right there that covers up the pin. Down here on the arms he gets a little blue decal right there and two little red dots on either side of the bicep. That's on both arms. 
Moving down to the legs, he gets new blue decals right there on the thighs. And inside the legs, right here, new red decals. Moving on down to the feet, new blue decals there on the toes. The wrist blasters also get decals. You can see right here, if I can focus in, there are red decals with maximal logos, and that is on every blaster. Once again, you have an option of plain red with no maximal logo. I went, of course, with the logo. On the back of Primal, he gets these decals that make it look like he has jets. So he's got his jet pack. And inside the arm, the shoulder pylons, if you can see, there are circuitry decals there and on either side. Now, right there, that was the hardest decal to put on this set. That's why I highly recommend you guys get these nice pointy tweezers. So that's pretty much it for Primal. His swords did get decals, as I mentioned earlier. Blue decals right there on top of the blade. So there you go, guys. Optimus Primal, after. Now, honestly, I didn't expect Toy Hacks to put out decal sets for the Kingdom Beast Wars line. I just didn't think it was possible. But as this Optimus Prime decal set shows, they can still knock it out of the park. I love the different options that you have for this set to really personalize Optimus Primal for your liking. Not to mention all the little details that really make this figure pop more in my opinion. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah! 10,000 by TF Con.